After weeks of planning, the big day had finally arrived and the cats were ready for King Tubby's surprise party. Come in, Cheetah. This is Naz. Do you read me? Over. Roger that. We're in position. Do you have the birthday boy? Over. Roger that. Are we good to go? Roger that. Roger that! Wait, what? I thought you were with King Tubby. Where is he? Mm -hmm. No idea. He wasn't in his room. I checked the whole house. Nothing. Also, his throne is missing. Then why did you say Roger that? You don't even know what Roger that means, do you? Uh, Roger that. This is why I called for a dress rehearsal. We wasted the good surprise on Cheetah. Roger that. I'll give you rascals a sharp surprise! What's Katie doing out there? If you want to take my throne, you'll have to cross my moat first. Ah, uh, what are you on about? We just wanted to throw you a surprise party for your birthday, Katie. It was Kitty's idea. Mm hmm It is my birthday! <laughs> I was so worried about you guys trying to get rid of me, I completely forgot! Oh, I love birthdays! But the plotting, the scheming, trying to steal my throne! Kitty! We put a motor on it. A motorized throne. Oh, wonderful! That was your present from all of us. Let her rip, Mr. Clean. <laughs> uh, happy birthday. No matter. This party is more than present enough. Kitty, thank you so much. One, two, three, four. You sure know how to throw a great party, kid. Yeah? I just hope Katie learned that it's pointless trying to worry and knows that we're always thinking the best of him. Hello? Hello? Guys? Oh. <laughs> it's wet! Kitty's surprise party was a big success. The whole house planned like humans and partied like cats. Needless to say, Kitty was already marking the calendar as to whose big day was next. <laughs>